Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'll be talking to you about tourism and the impact visitors have in tropical islands on the local resources and the local communities through seafood consumption. So when people think about tourism, generally they have these sorts of images in mind. Whether you swim in the blue ocean or over a colorful coral reef, sometimes you can think also about swimming or snorkeling rather and diving with sharks and big fish. Some people think about sitting on a beach under the sun and just enjoying palm trees. So generally speaking though, in small tropical islands, the ocean is what mainly attracts people to come to visit. And small island developing states um, derive very much, uh, very much income from, from visitors and also it provides people with uh, job opportunities. However, for some people, um, this is the kind of image that comes to mind when they think of tourism. It's overcrowding of sensitive habitats, both above water and, ab and below water. It's uh, waste management, or like the lack of waste management, rather, and waste accumulation on beaches. And it's the destruction of sensitive coastal habitats because of coastal development for hotels, as well as the erosion of community well-being and cultural practices. So for me, increasingly, having had the good fortune of traveling through the Pacific, um, in the, in the previous job that I had before coming back to UBC, um, tourism became associated with the following paradox. During the day, people would go diving, and they would enjoy being underwater and mingling with fish and being exhilarated of interacting with these beautiful and diverse fish species. And then at night, they would go to the restaurant and would happily tuck into a meal of exactly the same fish species that they enjoyed seeing on the reef during the day. And that didn't make a lot of sense to me. So I could find, I went into the literature and I could find a lot of information about the impact of tourism in terms of contributions, economically speaking, to local countries. I could find information about diving impacts through poor diver behavior on reefs, but I couldn't find information about what the impact of visitors are in terms of seafood consumption. So this is what I decided to do in Palau, um, which is an archipelago that is located in the Pacific Ocean and consists of 700 islands, um, and is located to the east of the Philippines and the southwest of Guam. And it's a, it's a very popular destination for divers because you have a lot of sharks, and you also have a lot of large fish, such as the humphead wrasse in the bottom um, right corner of this image. And actually, it is such a popular site um, that the number of visitors that come to the island exceeds the number of local residents by a factor of five to nine for over the past 12 years. So together um, with other um, researchers within the NARIS group, we designed this integrated social ecological model that took into consideration the impact that visitors have from diving behavior as well as from seafood consumption together with other local uses and climate change impacts on local systems. And what we found is that aside from climate change, fishing or reef fish for both tourists and local consumption had the greatest impacts on Palau's systems. So essentially, removing or shifting some of the fish consumption from reef fish to pelagic fish is a really key priority. However, given that reef fish is so important to Palau and diets as well as cultural practices, it is important that such changes um, are considerate of Palauan traditions as well as their nutritional security and their customs. Moreover, because tourism is so important to Palau, it is important that such changes encourage a high visitation rates and essentially happen at the same time as shifting fish consumption from reef fish to more pelagic species such as the one that you see here, whether it be wahoo, dolphin fish, or tuna. And such measures can be integrated into an increasing number of developments that are happening around the world that are sort of like highlighting the desire to support sustainable food systems. And um, these happen, so for example, through like Merit hotel chains that in 2010 developed the Future Fish program, which is a sustainable seafood program. And they have been happening also at smaller scale through the Pacific, Indian, and Caribbean Ocean. So in essence, what I'm saying is, Please go out there, spend your dollars in those communities and enjoy the underwater world and looking at reef fish, but do not eat them. <laughs> what you should do instead is you should support local adaptation measures and really support to protect traditions and customs locally and just eat 
pelagic fish instead, such as wahoo tuna or dolphin fish. Thank you very much.